Hi everyone! So today I have a haul video for you and it is a world market haul. I'll just go ahead and show you the bag. Yeah, I had a gift card um, for there from Christmas, so I've never been to world market and um, just popped in there. It's kind of a bit uh, on the other side of town from me, but um, yeah, I was in the area yesterday, so I thought I would stop in and look around and see what I could find. They have a lot of um, a lot of wine there, a lot of beer, a lot of like handcrafted stuff. They sell furniture. They have different foods from different countries. So let's get on with the haul. I have my receipt because um, some of this stuff was on sale. So the first thing was the bag. And I say that because I bought the bag, it was 10 cents. I had some reusable bags in my car, but I didn't really know what I was going to buy in there. So I just went in, looked around, and then um, went ahead and got that. So yeah, just so I can show you, it's cute and yeah, can be reused again. So I'm just going to take everything out just so I'm not like making all this noise and everything and shaking my table. Okay, so the first thing I got, which is not for me, I picked up for my roommate. This is um, Samuel Smith Organic Handcrafted Fruit L Strawberry. So it's a strawberry flavored beer, I guess. And just says, Ale Brewed with Strawberry Juice, product of England. So I guess this is um, an English beer. But this came out to $5.99. So good luck with that. Um, not really interested in trying that. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and let him do that. The other thing is a thing of tea. It's Comfort and Joy Holiday Spice Blend. It's black tea leaves with spices and fruit. And it says it steeps 50 cups. Um, and they're tea leaves, so it's the loose kind. The price says $11.99, but um, it was on promo, so it came out to $3. The next thing is some tea um, to go, not tea, is honey to go with the tea. And it's Breezel Wildflower Honey. And this says it was produced in Spain. So yeah, a product of Spain, it says on the back. The normal price on this is $9.99, but it came out to $2.50. And it's 12.3 ounce to be exact, um, 350 grams. And then to go with all that tea, I saw these cute tins. These were on sale for $1.48, all but one, which I kind of felt tricked because there was this big basket of these tins on clearance that said $1.48 um, and I got three of them but one of them rang up to its full price of $2.99 so that was kind of I don't know weird but um, so this is the first one kind of an indie style and the lid just pops off um, and it just says tea storage bin includes airtight lid to preserve freshness 20 fluid ounce and then it has another lid you can pull just to keep things really fresh um, yeah so I got that one and then I got this dark pinkish one $1.48 and then this is the one that came out to $2.99 which is its regular price and that's called a mosaic pattern I guess but I just liked the colors and um, just thought these three would look cute, cute together if I could show you without denting them. These just say they were made in Taiwan. So the next thing is um, Durs Premium Black Current Preserves. And I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. It's somebody's name. It says Mary Dewar, D-U-E-R-R. I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong. It says it's a product of England and it's just preserves like jam or jelly type product. So, um, and that came out to $3.99 as well. So just something different to try. And then the last of these things were um, on the Christmas clearance racks and they had quite a few things, which I was surprised because 
it's like the middle of January and they still had Christmas stuff. So yeah, I have three more things to show you. The first thing is this mug, which originally was $6.99, but it was 75% off. Real quick though about that tea I showed earlier, they're actually tea bags, not um, loose tea. So I just wanted to correct that. Um, it even says right here on the front of the jar, natural unbleached tea bags. So yeah, but I got this cute little mug. Um, not cute, but darling, shall we say darling, mug. It's pretty fancy, so I'm going to be careful with it. Not an everyday mug, but I just thought it was pretty. I don't have to use it only during Christmas. This was more of the less Christmas-themed ones, so I picked this up. doesn't say how much it holds, but it just says hand wash only, not microwave safe, made in China. So there's that. And then um, I got this candle, 75% off. And this is a 4x2 birch pillar candle. And this is regular $6.99, but 75% um, off, so $1.75, uh, same as that mug. But you know me and candles. But And I probably won't burn it. It'll probably just be for decor purposes. And the last thing I got, which was 75% off, the regular price was $9.99, but it came out to $2.50. And it's this adorable tin of peppermint, where are we? I know it says, I, I'm going to get this one right. Peppermint chocolate, um, dark chocolate, um, hot cocoa mix, basically. So I'm just trying to read the label for you. Peppermint chocolate, intensely rich hot chocolate mix, dark Belgium chocolate drops. So um, yeah, this shall be interesting to try. I know we're past the Christmas season and whatnot, but it's still appropriate since we're still in the cold hot cocoa weather. Um, and let me see if I can see where this is made. And it says Canada. So product of Canada. And I figured I could keep the little tin after I'm done, of course. Look at it. Why wouldn't you? So that was everything in my haul. There's a lot of stuff in that store. A lot of it um, is pretty pricey. So I just picked out a few little things I could try. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed. And please give it a thumbs up if you did. And please subscribe if you'd like to see more videos. And I shall see you in my next one. Bye, guys.